Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. So we are continuing with the Jasmine matchers, like whatever the Jasmine matcher we use generally while uh, creating the Angular unit test case. So we are continuing with those. So in this part, we will discuss about to be defined and to be undefined matcher, which we use in the Angular unit case, test cases. So let's understand what is to be defined. So to be defined matcher should be applied successfully to compare against define. What is the meaning of this? Like for an example, I have an object. Now that object, if it is initialized, then it will, if we will check with the to be defined, then it will return the true. Otherwise it will return the false. So such kind of the things we check with the to be defined. So let's, let's understand it within example. So this is the Visual Studio and here I have written the test case name is the Jasmine method to be defined. It's basically a function. So here I have taken an object called my object and here I have defined one property called foo. Now here what I did here simply I initialize one more function called my function for testing like there is a one scenario I'm expecting here and here simple one variable I have taken. So three things we have taken here. One is the object, another is the my function and another is the variable. Now here what we are expecting, we are expecting normal a string to be defined. So it will return the true because it is already initialized. Next is my object is also initialized. That's why to be defined and my object dot foo because we have assigned the value to this one. That's why it will give the true. Now here my function. So my function, we didn't define anything inside this one. That's why what we are doing, we are checking not to be defined. So it will return the true because it's not to be defined. And another, again, the variable that is also like not to be defined because here we didn't assign any value to this one. So in that case, if we will run this one, so at point of this time, what it will do, it will pass all the test case and we will see the true test cases passed here. So if we will go on the browser, so we can see like to be defined here. If we will see it will result, it will give like it's a true value. So let's, it is um, like still building the solution. So what I will do again, let me save it again and let's see on the browser. So we can see on the browser like all the test cases passing successfully in here also we can see. So this is the way like we use to be defined in angular unit test case. Now in this case like if I will define any value called hello. Now if I will save then this test case will fail and why because for this variable currently what we are doing we are checking like it's not defined. So in that scenario, it will fail and we can see, let's go on the browser and we'll see like expected hello not to be defined. It should not to be defined. So for passing this one, what we have to do, we have to remove it from here and then we have to save it. So in that scenario, what will happen? This test case will pass. So that is the use of the to be defined. Like it's basically used to check like whether that particular method or particular object, particular variable is initialized or not. So such kind of the test cases we check under the to be defined. Now next is to be undefined. So let's understand it with to be undefined. So like the previous one is still building, like solution is building. So by that time, let's understand uh, like what is to be undefined. So basically to be undefined just opposite to be defined. So the to be undefined matcher should be applied successfully to compare against the undefined. So just opposite to that one, it will work. So let's go here. Okay, let me refresh it first. So now like that pre previous scenario, it is passing all the test cases. Now let's come to the undefined. So uncomment it, control KU. 
so in that scenario what we are doing everywhere we have kept as a not to be undefined because these are defined already like if i will go this my object foo already defined that's why we are checking not because here we are checking to be undefined in that scenario if we will go here we will see the three test case will be pass here in that scenario so because this is one and that previous one for the defined and we are already having another so we can see here now three test cases passing so if you will go on the browser we can see for the undefined as well so these are the scenario like we should use that to be defined and to be undefined while creating the unit test case so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you